This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time I'm going to be playing with a Shadal deck utilizing the new Shadal Link monster, Shadal Construct, and it's basically a deck built around trying to abuse that card in whatever way, shape, and form possible. Now, I've gone with a Prediction Princess build just because I feel like Taratray is a rather valid and rather good boss monster for this deck, but this is pretty much just a really, like, basic list that I've been testing minorly. I haven't been doing too much heavy testing into it uh, because there's not really any benefit to do so. We're not going to be seeing Shadal Construct for at least, like, six months-ish of time frame. Like, at the very earliest, we'll probably get it, like, maybe around March or April of 2018. And by then, multiple things can change, like ban lists, uh, metagame changes, stuff like that. Basically just change all that stuff around. But for what I wanted to test for the purposes of the card, Prediction Princesses seem like a pretty decent engine to put in because it allows you to have plays outside of your Grinder Golem and Gofu plays and stuff like that because these are obviously the bread and butter plays of the uh, of the deck, but you'll see that in just a minute. But basically you go into the Akashic Security Dragon engine and then you go into your... Uh, summon Sorceress, which further facilitates the summoning of Shadal Construct. Uh, and basically, you're able to do a bunch of stuff with Firewall Dragons and hopefully end on a Taratray at the end of that. But anyway, I'm not going to waste too much time in this little portion of the video. I just wanted to show you guys the list that I'm working with. But I will be playing some games. I'm not sure how many games I'll be playing, but I'll try to keep the video around a 20-minute length mark. Uh, if that's one game, then so be it. If it's multiple games, then hey, amazing. But anyway, let's not waste too much more time and let's jump straight into the first game. Alright, so, let's see what happens here. I get to go first, so that's very promising. And I've got Grinder Golem plus a Shadal card, and that's great. That is absolutely the best. Uh, because what this allows is that Grinder Golem uh, plus, a, uh, plus any Shadal monster uh, is the Shadal core play. If I don't mess it up. Uh, but basically, you do the normal Akashic Magician nonsense, uh, which is what basically allows you to do that sort of play. But... Summon Sorceress gives a whole new dynamic to that. Uh, so let's see, Link Karibo under the Link Spider, Akashic Magician under the Grinder Golem. And I don't feel bad about playing Grinder Golem at all, uh, because even like Konami in the OCG is like really self-aware that people are playing this card as a Link Enabler, and it's pretty much like they don't actually care. <laughs> uh, which they Konami usually doesn't care about a lot of things, but this one in particular... They are, like, promoting the use of it. Uh, but so, I can go into the Security Dragon here with the two Grinder Tokens here. Then I can use this to add the Grinder Golem back to mine hand, which I can then summon it again, uh, getting two more tokens. Uh, so I'll get token here, and I'll get a token here. So this Grinder Golem can go up here. So yeah, Special Summon up here. Now... I can make Firewall Dragon and bounce this and then excavate. And then I can summon fire the uh, the Grinder Golem again. Um, I can get rid of the Akashic Magician into a fu another Firewall Dragon. Uh, I've got a few options here as far as this goes. Uh, this is another Cyburst, which this can be used to go into my uh, Summon Sorceress. So mm, I can summon Summon Sorceress over here after I clear this zone out. So there's a few different things that are capable of being done. Which is all fantastic. Uh, I need to remember the play, though. I can make Link Karibo come back by tributing this. There's a few different things that I have access to. And I'll make Firewall with the token token. And the Security Dragon underneath this. I can then use the Akashic Magician to, to excavate for four. So I'm going to call Pre-Prep. Uh, because that will allow me to get potentially access into uh, my Tara Tray. <clears throat> and if any of my Shadals like that uh, are activatable, then that's that's good. Uh, but so I'll, I'll, I will definitely use the Hedgehog effect, yes. And I'll use that to add, I guess, School Mata to my hand, just because that's another, another name. Uh, but now I can activate the Firewall Dragon, uh, which I can use to bounce the Grinder Golem, or I can add back VLS, but I can do that later. Uh, not too big of an issue. And so I will special summon Grinder Golem. I'll special summon my token. My token. Grinder Golem over here. 
And so now what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to send one of these tokens to grave for links uh, for the Link Karibo in my graveyard. I want the Link Karibo to specifically come out next to the Firewall Dragon. And then what I'm able to do is I'm able to go into Proxy Dragon uh, with the Akashic Magician and uh, and the token up here. And so then that Firewall here lets me summon a, uh, a shit all out of my hand. So I'll summon Beast over here because I've got multiples. And so now what I'm able to do is I'm able to go into Summon Sorceress with the Link Karibo and the Proxy Dragon above the uh, above this stuff. And I could use this to summon another monster from my hand, but there's not really any need to right now. I can use Summon Sorceress to target my Beast, which will then allow me to summon a just a card that I want to get rid of, which I guess would be Squamata, which I can then go with these into Shadal Construct here, which the Firewall can trigger multiple times. I wish that I could summon this Taratrae off Firewall. That would be, like, the coolest. Uh, but that's not how Yu-Gi-Oh! works. But so I'll summon this Winda, getting rid of Beast and... or getting rid of Construct and, um... I could get rid of Summon Sorceress, and that would summon it over here. But Summon Sorceress I want to be able to link with. Uh, so not too big of a idea to go on there. We'll just get rid of the squam... No, I'll get rid of the beast. What am I doing? Uh, we'll get rid of the beast because what that allows is that allows for um, for the, me to draw a card here. And, uh... No, I'm not going to use that. So I'll use beasts to draw soul charge. That's actually insane. That's actually ridiculous. I can use that right now. <laughs> That's kind of wild. Uh, so I'll just go with... Um, I'll go with Summon Sorceress and the Winda into this other uh, Firewall Dragon right here. And the Winda's effect can activate. The Firewall could activate, but I'm not too worried about that. This Winda gets to add back my El Shadal Fusion. And then I can just Soul Charge here. Literally for free. So I'll Soul Charge for Construct, for uh, Proxy Dragon and Winda. So I can put these back on the board. I can put Winda to the farthest left. Which one is this? Winda. Okay, Winda can go over here. Uh, the Proxy Dragon can go next to this Firewall. The Shadal Construct can go over here. And now this Firewall Dragon can be used to bounce uh, the Grinder Golem, which I could then use for, um, for fusion purposes later. Uh, so I will use this Firewall to bounce Grinder Golem, and I will put the Black Luster Soldier back into my hand from my graveyard. So this, like, this, this, these turn structures are pretty insane um, in terms of what they actually allow. So I'll set both of these, and I'll pass turn. I've got Squamata plus Grinder Golem, which I can use during my opponent's turn. I don't have any Firewalls live, which is kind of unfortunate. Oh, I'm playing against literally just Cybers. <laughs> That's unfortunate. This window floodgates you, uh, which is kind of unfortunate for you, but, I mean... That's the name of the game. That's what we're trying to do with Winda. Okay, my opponent has surrendered. All right, well, looks like this is going to be more than one game then. Going to jump into another one real quick. Give me just a second. All right, so let's see how this one goes. Okay, ooh, someone who doesn't just randomly pick paper. Good to know. Uh, damn it. Okay, didn't get didn't get the next level him on that one. Uh, but this hand is pretty good. I've got pre-prep. Um, I've got pre-prep plus two Shadals, plus an Allure, plus El Shadal. So that's pretty good. Uh, my opponent is playing Invoked, though, so that's going to be a bit of a problem if he's able to stick a Mikaba. Uh, otherwise, I don't think there's too big of a problem. He's playing a 14-card extra deck, so he's either missing a card or he's just not playing to a full capacity of a deck. I don't know. Ah! Instant Fusion! Okay, so is he playing the Link Monster or no? That's the question that I have. It looks like he is! All right. Time for me to actually read this thing again. Uh, for reals this time, though. Uh, becomes Elister, the Invoker. If a fusion monster is fusion summon, you can discard a card, and if you do, add Invocation or the Book of Law. Okay. So he gets the fusion summon here into a Raijin. And so now this can trigger to discard and add if he wants to. But it looks like he's not doing that. Um, but he can trigger this off my effects. That's actually kind of important. Uh, but he has Alistair back in his hand, he shoveled Invocation back, so that's not something I'd really need to worry about too heavily, but 
he's got Raijin, and I've got to uh, I've got to deal with this by I guess maybe Grinder Goleming him to sleep. That's probably the way this goes. If I draw into Grinder Golem, that'd be probably kind of awesome. But so we'll lure here. I did not draw into anything Grinder Golem related, but I do have access to El Shadal Fusion. And I do have access to Taratre. So I will banish this Hedgehog. I can summon this, getting rid of Dragon and Beast. Or I could go ahead and just El Shadal Fusion first. Uh, if I El Shadal Fusion, that would give me the ability to try and bait this Raijin. Um, possibly. Yeah, we'll, we'll try this. We'll try this out. If I use El Shadal Fusion here, uh, I can fuse into this Winda. I can get rid of the Dragon and the Squamata. I'm going to be burning the Squamata out of my hand if I summon Taratre, but that's fine. Select a zone. Oh, up here. I was like, where's my zones? They're not highlighting. Uh, please. Uh, but so, yeah, we'll use Squamata, we'll use Dragon. Uh, I'll use Squamata and then first and then Dragon second. Dragon can pop this. Hmm. How do I deal with the Raijin specifically? Not too sure. It'd be a little bit easier for me to deal with this entire, like, structured, like, play if, uh, if things were, well, let's see. We'll, we'll send Beast. We'll see what happens here. If I can draw, like, Grinder Golem off this Beast, that'd be kind of cool. That's a lure. That's actually really good. Um, because I can just get rid of the Winda to uh, use my um, my thing up. Let's see. Uh, I don't need this Beast. I've got a Beast in Grave, so I'll get rid of that. And I can go Prediction Ritual... I still probably lose this game 100%. I don't think that I can actually play against a proper fusion deck of proper 20, uh, 2017 standards of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, but so I'll do this. Squamata's already used its effect. Man, yeah, this is this was a bad play. I've I've made I've made some errors, some goofs as they were. Uh, <laughs> I've I already don't think that I can win this game, so I'm pretty much just like. Ugh. Uh, we'll, we'll use Taratre to flip this down, I guess. Yeah, I don't think I win this game at all, in fact. Uh, but I can set this, I can set this, and I can pass my turn. And what I can do is I can El Shadal Fusion the Hedgehog and the Maxi away into Shekinaga. Why are you kaijuing this, of all things? How strange. Alright. I would pro I would have kaijued the known threat, but okay, I guess not. Um, especially since you don't know what this back row is. Like, this back row could be something that prevents you from killing Taratre. That's kind of weird. Yeah, Raijin, neat. Neat and nifty. Are you going to play Invocation so I can trade this Maxi for another card, or nah? That is the question that I have. <sighs> but yeah, this deck lives or dies by Grinder Golem. <laughs> and that's kind of the problem that I see with it. Uh, is this specific build anyway. But that's what I built it to be. Like, your only good plays really are coming from Grinder Golem. Um, or Gofu, specifically. Now, you could probably play something like... I don't know, maybe like Scapegoat uh, in the list. I mean, this is a slower deck, so I mean, I guess that might work. But, at the same time, it doesn't seem like it's too optimal. What does the Book of Law even do? I don't even remember. All I know is, is that it's one of those, like, bad, not played invoked cards. Uh, okay, so he's summoning that. Raigeki, this is a really good card. That's a really fucking good card, indeed. Uh, okay, what does this do? Tribute and invoke monster, special summon and invoke monster from your extra deck with a different original attribute from that monster. Oh, that's actually kind of alright. Hmm. Wonder why that card never actually got to be played. Because that turns... Yeah! I mean, it takes an extra card to do it, but I mean, I guess it turns, like, it turns your Raijins into Mikabas after you've already used its effect on your opponent's turn? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that card. I think, I think the fact that you still have to trade a card to add that card to hand doesn't make it necessarily good, but I'm probably going to just lose this game right here. Unless I draw Grinder Golem, in which case Grinder Golem by itself is like a one card combo, and that's pretty cool, so we, we mess with that. 
uh, Grinder Golem or uh, Shadal Fusion. No, Shadal Fusion wouldn't be good because I'd have to Raigeki first. Or else the Raijin would just put all my stuff, uh, my things face down anyway. But I would still proc two effects. So I think I'd actually still Shadal Fusion first because I could Shadal Fusion, send Falco, send something else. Uh, but then I'm still playing the slow game and that's not really optimal. So that. Hmm. Not sure. Not sure at all. At all, my friends. At all. Not sure at all. I just want to play this right, Geki. Can we get to my turn, please? Twitchy. I'm, I'm a twitchy bitch. Can we please get to my turn? Um, Should all construct is actually a really good Link Monster. I actually really like it. I made this very, uh, very apparent in my card review on it. Uh, the card is just fantastic, and it hits all the points. But this deck lives or dies to Grinder Golem uh, in its current form. And that is a flaw in, honestly, really the Shadal archetype, is the fact that Shadals don't really have too many standalone good cards outside of Shadal Fusion by itself. Come on, big boy. Why are you just waiting? I don't want to win games like this. There we go. Okay, main phase two, invocation. Into Mikaba. Okay. All right. Shadal Fusion. Hey! So I can throw down Shadal Fusion, and if he negates that with Mikaba, then perfect. I, whew, even better. Um, all right. How very strange. Uh, we'll activate this. Activation is all right. Cool. I can activate another one because it says it only says activate. So that's neat. So I'll activate a second copy. Uh, I'll summon my Winda, and I will send Falco, and I will send. Beast to summon this window up here, and so then my Falco and my Beast's effect will activate, and so the Falco gets to come back. The Beast draws a card, which is Ash Blossom, which is actually not very bad for the situation that I'm in. Not bad at all. Uh, I can use this to thin my deck just to get another copy of uh, of Taratray. But other than that, this Raigeki is going to come down, and if I win the game based off this Raigeki, that would be just amazing. That would be like the nuts if I win the game based off just this Raigeki alone, because I don't know anything else that is causing me to not blow up his board. So... He can book a moon my window all he wants, but at the same time, I've got access to El Shadal Fusion, I've got a Falco... I can Ash Blossom him when he uh, when he tries to uh, search Invocation with Alistair, so I might be back in this one. Might be. But who knows. Okay, so yes, the Raigeki is resolving. He has one card in hand that I don't think I know what it actually is. He's got an Invocation in the Grave and an Alistair in the Grave, and he's got this Alistair Link Monster. Uh, banished over here. Hold on a second. What does this thing say? Target one of your banished Alistair the Invoker. Shuffle this card into the deck, and if you do, add that card to your hand. Hmm. Interesting. And the thing is, he didn't even try to... He didn't use Raijin to book my window either, so that's actually kind of interesting that he didn't do even that. It's very interesting to me. Uh, but he added Book of Law to his hand, and then he discarded that for Makaba. So, I'm not sure what exactly he could have in his hand, but I know that that's catching an Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom. Please, please, please don't have Invocation as your last card in hand. Please! Please, I want to win because you fucked up. Please! <laughs> please, baby! Let me just win this. I thought I was going to lose this game 100%, but... Man, you cannot put a price tag on fuck-ups. Oh my god, he left! He scooped! Oh! Oh, I didn't think I was going to win that one. Okay. Well, I'm going to try and fit one more game into this, but we'll see how that one goes. All right, so we're going to see how this goes. We're going to see if we're able to actually get another uh, game in. And let's see if I... Yeah, we got the Grinder Golem. Big boy. Okay, so Grinder Golem tokens come out here. This goes to my opponent. I'm going to try and do this as quickly as I can. Uh, because we've already seen this song and dance before. Special Summon, a Link Karibo. 
this down here, Akashic Magician, to bounce this Grinder Golem. This is actually kind of an insane combo, but I mean, at the same time, it's kind of what I expect from Yu-Gi-Oh! at this point, uh, to be completely honest with you. I don't expect anything different. Uh, but so we'll give Grinder Golem, we'll go into the Security Dragon. The thing is, what I find more interesting is that people are willing to sit through this, and that's like even cooler is the fact that usually people would just leave but no nah, now they're just super down for the cause <laughs> which I don't quite understand uh, but hey man whatever what the fuck ever uh, but so the grinder golem comes out here I can go into this firewall dragon using these cards right here uh, I will activate this um, and I'm gonna call again pre-prep I think pre-preparation of rights is what I always call with this uh, because this seems like the, uh, like the best thing to call, honestly. Uh, okay, Prediction Ritual, Raigeki, Pre-Prep! Hell yes! Ha ha ha! And now we get the Tara Trey play live. Um, and so Should All Beasts Effect can activate, so that allows me to draw a card. That's a strike. That's pretty good. Um, so this can add the Prediction Ritual and the other Tara Trey. And so now I can activate this to bounce the Grinder Golem summon it again and then we can start we can start doing some uh, some Shadal construct plays even though I have access to a fusion spell um, I don't know if that's actually like the the way that I should be playing this out because I have I do have access to a fusion spell um, but so we'll get rid of this into this and then I'm able to go into proxy dragon with these two uh, this firewall will trigger yes I'll summon this beast from my hand over here, and then from here I will be able to link those into the summon sorceress, so I will. So these two into summon sorceress. Um, this effect I like to GG too long, amazing. Alright. <laughs> he leaves now, after I sang like praises of, cool, this man doesn't leave. Uh, but you basically get the gist. You get the basic idea. Grinder Golem is what opens this deck up. You get to summon Sorceress. You summon whatever doll you had in your hand in the zone next to the summon Sorceress. And then you use summon Sorceress to special summon another copy of a doll from your deck, which then allows you to go into Shell Construct, which then allows you to Fusion Summon, uh, which then you also are able to follow that up with Tara Trey, potentially. But, okay. Anyway, I guess that is going to be it for this video. It's of a decent length. I got three games in I guess the the invoked one was kind of weird but hey we'll take it as it comes I guess is how we're gonna treat these uh, because the reason I'm doing this again is because if I'm a lot more freeform with my formatting of how I do this of just going into just random singles and finding maybe good games and maybe games where I show off what my deck is capable of but my opponent's not really the best um, it just it sort of it makes it to where I actually enjoy doing dual videos again uh, and like that was the reason why I tried to get away from dual videos is that one I don't really think I like the direction it takes the channel in but at the same time I can't argue with the results that it gives in terms of analytics but it's always just been really stressful to do them in terms of people leaving and trying to get good like one game per video things all that sort of stuff I don't know. I'm just gonna be very lax with my formatting for these sorts of things and we'll see how that goes but anyway as always, guys, thanks for watching, and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. As always, links as always are in the description to my Facebook fan page as well as my personal Patreon page if you want to support the channel directly. Patreon is obviously the best way to do so. And other than that, as always, like, comment, subscribe, do all the nonsense you usually do. Thanks for watching, as I've already said. Thanks for your time as usual, guys. Again, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on Grinder Golem as well. A lot of people are really for it or against it. I'm personally, like, I think the plays that it makes are cool. Um... But at the same time, I don't know how long it like can last in Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, something like that can last. But anyway, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below, as I've already said. But other than that, take care, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Alright, so now that the video's over, I'd like to give a special thanks to Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, Troy Perkins, and Eric Gertson, as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me on Patreon this month. You guys help out a ton, a lot more than you may ever know, and you have my eternal gratitude. You guys are forever awesome. Thank you so much for the support, you guys.